The saga of Bode ended rather catastrophically at the end of last stream. Uh, I think that we made some mistakes in scenario setup, and I think that's one of the challenges that RimWorld has more broadly, is that you can definitely set up scenarios that have more or less interesting context. So we're going to try and create one that is pretty interesting this time. So we're going into a new colony. We're going to be going with a lost tribe, so we're going to have more interaction between our folks. Uh, we're going to have three random pets. Not much in the way of materials, nothing in the way of research, and we're going to be genetically modifying our tribes people. I think we want to make things a little tough, so I think I'm probably going to go for blood and dust, which is uh, somewhat rough around the edges. We're going to stick with Cassandra Classic, that should be rather punishing, and... Other than that, I think we'll go with 50% uh, globe coverage, so we have a little more space. <laughs> oh, I know it is. I know it is, Joe. Uh, so let's uh, let's generate our world. I think I'm going to go with Potamus as our seed. As much as I love cabbage. Uh, cabbage makes me gassy. But uh, as much as I love cabbage, we'll go with Potamus. And then what I am thinking right now is we are going to go full caveman on this run. There have been a few factions that have been added to the world, one of which is the Neanderthals. Uh, and I think that would be very interesting for us to play as. I'm thinking we're not going to go for a particularly tricky scenario here. We'll probably go with something that has a reasonably, like maybe we could go for some rainforest in the middle of the world here. Anything that looks particularly good. We got some nice shrubland down here. The bean range. There's this lovely island over here, but being on an island doesn't help us that much. Where did you see rotting orange? Ah, the rotting orange. That does seem like the place we should live, doesn't it? will be how about we go with a how we go with a river i don't really like limestone sandstone i like granite i'd love to see like a slate marble those are my favorite to go with we got slate granite limestone this is a pretty good one it's flat we've got a river We could potentially do some some water power to kind of get things going. What's our growing? What's our growing period? It's a year-round growing period. That'll be nice. We're near a few of these folks. Yeah, I kind of like this one. Let me, let me make sure I, I get the same one again. Limestone, granite, sandstone. It was this one with the bend in the river, I think, or was it this one? It's this one. All right. So I think I'm, I'm going for caveman in terms of kind of like primitive hunter-gatherer. So I, I actually kind of like, we've always gone with mountainous regions in our playthroughs, so I kind of want to go with something slightly different. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to allow the, the no caveman thing, and we're not going to have to worry about overhead mountain and those sorts of things. Now for ideology, given that we're going with a... Uh, caveman aesthetic i'm going to go with a fluid ideology that can kind of grow up with us so we'll kind of see how our colony develops and we will build a religion with the colony's development i think animalist feels pretty good or animist feels pretty good get some of that potentially nature loving stuff going on and then we have to decide so with Collectivist, we could potentially do some slavery stuff. I don't think that's really the way that we're going. Guilt from past ages doesn't feel particularly interesting. We could go Rancher. That could be interesting. We certainly have some capacity to do that. Let's go, let's go Rancher. Let's start with kind of like a more meat-forward diet. Uh... All right, and then we will... This is obviously the Potamus path. Do we want to change that? 
I think we probably do. It's the, I'm going to say it's the grove because we're not going to have buildings initially. Hey, iMega, welcome. Yeah, well, I think we'll go with person. So th these will be the Potamus people. And... The slaughter field. Even better. I love that. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. And then, do we have... Let's see, what's one of these? This this has kind of like a, a Neolithic vibe to it. Yeah, let's maybe... I like this color. Let's go with that. All right, so this is the Potamus, pa Potamus Path. Did I did it for the uh, the ritual room, right? Yeah, the slaughter fields. Oh, the cow with the horns. Bingo. Very nice. All right. Ranching is central. Let's see. Nothing else, nothing else too crazy. What do we have for relics? We have the ranch pendant, <laughs> the ranch Zeus hammer, and the ranch pulser. <laughs> Just what I've always wanted. I absolutely will, iMega. If you uh, if you want to get included in the fun, I'm down with it. Do you want to add a venerated animal? That could be that could be kind of against our precepts, but it could be kind of fun as well. Is there an animal that we could that we could like ranch primarily for selling? Dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the idea of dogs. We could go with huskies. I mean, we're we're in a pretty warm area. So maybe we go with uh, golden retrievers. Where are they? We could we could go with Yorkshire Terriers. Labradors. There we go. Hold on a second. A B C D E F L. There we go. Labrador retrievers will be our venerated animal. <laughs> oh, I'm Ego. We have set the difficulty a little high. I'm not going to lie. All right. So we are ranching. And so now this is where the Xenotype editor comes in. So in the pre-maids, we have uh, Neanderthals. And they have a strong immunity. They are slow runners. They are cold and heat tolerant. They are particularly aggressive. They have strong melee damage. They are robust. Which means that the, they have a 0.75 excuse me, 0.75 damage multiplier coming in. They take less pain. They have heavy body features as a general precept. They are all slow learners with poor shooting, poor social, and poor intellectual. <laughs> so yes, this is going to be an interesting run, to be clear. One of the things that I haven't decided is the way that the balancing on the... Yes, this is unmodded. Uh, with a few minor exceptions, iMega, that we'll cover in the future. But one of the things about the standard uh, Neanderthal uh, xenotype in general, and xenotypes in general, is you'll see these pluses and minuses. So the pluses mean uh, traits that give you more metabolic efficiency, and the minuses are less metabolic efficiency. So in this case, you can see that slow runner gives us some headroom to get other things, and we end up at a plus two metabolic efficiency. So I'm thinking of kind of going through each of the characters and trying to find a particular ability that I think matches well with them to, to kind of balance things out at a metabolic efficiency of zero. So we will see. One thing I wanted to test, though, is if we make this person a Neanderthal, and then roll them. So now we have green, who's back. But if I go in and change their xenotype, let's say I just add... So, wait, so first of all, it didn't appear to show me that. So if I went in here and said, you are also sanguine. Yeah, it does re-roll. Okay, so we need to essentially pick if we're going to do something else with the Xenotype editor before, because you can't edit the Xenotype of someone after they have been rolled. So we're going to come in here, we're going to make our first person, and then we have the option to remove some of these, or I'm thinking to stick with the, the kind of like theme, I'm just going to go ahead and add something to each one. I could, but I'm, I'm going to try and keep them kind of 
true to the core. I don't want to optimize them too much. So for instance, if I wanted to, I could make this particular pawn have fast wound healing. And that would put their metabolic efficiency at 100, which would mean that they would kind of continue merrily along their way. Uh, I could also... And, and I could do a lot of things, but I'm going to stick to picking one trait that is plus two at the... Or excuse me, that is minus two at the most. Like, I could make a beautiful pawn. I could make a... I could also make a pretty pawn with one other thing, but I don't think we'll do that. I think I'm going to give this person, this first person, robust digestion. As, what is unstoppable? Stagger time multiplier times 0%. Oh, so this, this pawn can't be staggered. That's, that's a pretty interesting trait. And at the plus 2, it feels great. We could also go for some of these, like strong mining or strong plants the problem is because we can't re-roll we're not necessarily going to go yeah we're going to be doing a lot of meleeing so i think i want a couple of people that are unstoppable so we can see that that shows up up here so we'll save and apply now if i randomize this person oh so it changed it changed them from being Okay, so yeah, so we're essentially building on top of the, uh, on top of what already existed. Ah, so, so we have to choose the same thing for everyone. That's interesting. So he has melee, he has some crafting, he has some plants. Plants is basically dead to us. Now, if I randomize, are we going to lose our xenotype? No, we stick with our xenotype. So... This person has melee, animals, crafting, and medical. I kind of love... I think Koba is definitely in. So let's let's head on to our next one. Who is Narwhal. We're going to go into the Xenotype Editor. We are going to load the pre-made Neanderthal. And then... I really love the idea of animal war call as a side note. It's essentially charm a local animal. Uh, but I, and maybe we'll pick this on one person. If we decide one person is the chieftain, we could uh, we could go a little deeper on them. These uh, these immunities to drug addiction are also very interesting. We could say give one of our people uh, a, what is a Goju's uh, immunity? So we have addict resistance, addict immune. That's minus five, that's too much. But we could give someone a addict resist, which is a 50% reduction. Uh, it is, but it comes at a big cost. Uh, it comes at a big cost. So as an example, minus five, if I were to select Goju's Addict Immune here, that would mean that they eat almost double the food, uh, which is is pretty, pretty strong uh, as well. So let's see. So we're all going to be slow runners, which is going to be its own extreme pain. We could go with one of these like fire foam spray. Maybe we'll go with fire foam spray for this one to uh, to be able to extinguish fires. I think that's kind of fun. And now we will we will randomize this one. So at the moment, can I? I can't drag people out, so I can't see my overall balance at the moment. But it was lobster that we just adjusted. Slow learner and slow poke are. Oh yeah, actually. You had Brawler and Sanguine? Holy smokes. I, I forgot to look at the traits on that first one. I don't think anything gives immunity to Luciferium addiction, uh, just because of the way that Luciferium addiction works. Oh, so you are the mother of Squid. Oh, we don't have Squid at the moment. Okay, so let's let's roll this one again. A kind... Now, Jogger, I think, is... is offset by this I I'm not actually sure if that can happen but I don't mind having someone that is good at mining and artistic but I like the idea of all of our people having uh having some melee skill <laughs> I think we're gonna need it but animals is good artistic is good and cooking is good I wish the cooking was a little higher I think I'm gonna roll this one though 
Uh, well, we can we can hang on to them and work our way through the list as well. So you will move to the bottom. Let's do dark light for a second here. Whoa, could be our doctor, but sadly we have to go into the xenotype editor. Load Neanderthal and I like the idea of giving someone robust digestion. If we're not all gonna, so this is one of the things, if we're not all gonna have robust digestion, it's not that useful for us. It's not, it's not sort of transformative to the run. We could go with like an elongated fingers for a little extra manipulation. Hey, Stefan, welcome. Yeah, uh, had a, had a nice, uh, had a nice weekend. It was pretty, uh, pretty chill, but uh, but yeah, felt uh, felt good. Halloween was fun. I don't live in a place where we can really do we can really do much uh, in terms of like trick or treating. Kids don't swing by. I live in an apartment building. I presume there is a doctoring uh, xenotype. I'm gonna go with elongated fingers and strong stomach on this one. Hey, Legion! Happy Halloween to you as well. So given that we did that, we really want this person to be good at crafting. Incapable of dumb labor is probably not going to be great. Nudist Jealous Night Owl. And wow, look at those stats. You're my boy, Blue. I, I love tough here. I love animals. We're going to be doing a lot of animal care. Uh, but I think this one, I want to get some crafting. And I wouldn't mind getting some cooking as well. Save him for his name. <laughs> Volatile and staggeringly ugly. Sure sounds like a fun time. Cooking plants is, is wasted on us. Crafting, not that interested. Cooking, mining, construction, staggeringly ugly. Now, I don't know if these grayed out perks mean that they are... Yeah, this is a suppressed trait. Okay, got it. Yeah, it's, it's a little sad, Stefan, but I think I'll be moving relatively soon. And when I do, uh, we'll be things will be changing up. Wow, you have a lot of shooting for the fact that we have a shooting deficit. Oh, we got we got some real dum dums here. Uh, that is for sure. Abrasive, depressive cannibal. That might be a lot to handle. Uh, plants crafting. Hard worker. I kind of like this character. This could be our our manipulation character. So I'll move them down. Let's uh, let's start working on Nacho. So we need someone that has medical. So let's uh, let's see. I think. We can give this person, we can't give them great medical, but we could give them strong medical. Or maybe, maybe just for this one, we'll do great medical and we will, nah, I want to keep everybody the same. So we will go, we'll go strong medical and then we can give them a little other bump in something. They do. There's a channel in the Discord Legion just for uh, voting on on games and game suggestions. Let's see. So we're looking for we're looking for a one pointer, something something else nice. Dark vision is interesting. We could give them a furry tail, which makes them more uh, comfortable in temperatures or a smooth tail. Uh, we should have given the person with elongated fingers a smooth tail. That would have been pretty sweet. Uh, let's go... Let's go dark vision. All right. So this is our this is our doctor. So they will have pretty spectacular... Do we already have a chef? We don't. So I really, I'm liking this one. Great memory, optimist, and volatile. That'll add a little bit of fun. They're, uh, they have a small dependence to smoke leaf. That'll be fun to deal with. Incapable of violence. Uh, for a doctor, I don't mind too much. Was Koba our chef? Nope. Koba is not our chef. So I think blue is hanging around. And that means that we have 
Did we do red? I think we did do red. Yeah, hard worker. So we have one more to we have one more to deal with. It looks like we could use a researcher badly, and our construction is just going to be a little rough. Whose eye is messed up? We we I mean we have some injuries. <laughs> Yep. It's only painful, though. It doesn't, uh... Yeah, our doctor is a little bit blind. Wait, our doc... No, it's not our doctor that's blind, right? No, it is our doctor that's blind. And five medical after plus eight? Or plus four? That's pretty rough. I Great memory and optimist would have been nice. But maybe we do reroll blue. Sorry, you were my boy, blue. Holy smokes. Bloodlust plants... Crafting and medical, I can get down with this one. Ah, sorry. It is too late. There is no unrerolling. So, last person. Let's go into the Xenotype editor. Make them a Neanderthal. And then... Let's see. We could go with size sensitive on one of our characters. We'll probably be doing some animatry stuff. So one size sensitivity doesn't sound bad. And then we're really looking to fill out... Wait, why do I feel like... Many of our things down here got worse. Did it just reroll all of our people? No. I think this this bottom screen is just misrepresenting. No, maybe not. Maybe maybe this middle person that we're just about to start rerolling has their uh, has their hands full. We really need intellectual, which we may just not get. <laughs> if I'm being honest, tough nudist and jealous, hot diggity daffodils. Yeah, and those can't be on the same person, Joe. That's uh, that's one of the challenges that we're going to face. Plants cooking melee. Slowpoke, quick sleeper, misogynist. Our construction is, is tragically awful. I think I'm going to roll for a while until I see someone with uh, with construction. That, that fills out our construction problems. Intellectual is going to be is going to be absolute pain. <laughs> but I think it's okay. We're going to we're going to have some farming for let's let's look let's look at traits here really quickly. Brawler sanguine, bloodlust, jealous body modder and nudist. Bear is going to be tough. Bear is going to be a tough one. I don't. I don't think we can take bear. I think jealous body modder and nudist means that they're just going to lose their mind constantly. Psychically sensitive. No, I, I'm looking for intellectual or construction. I think undergrounder not going to be good. Starting with addiction would be pretty nasty. Tough I love, but doesn't come with much else. I swear, the construction has just been pegged at zero for I don't even know how long. Uh, let's see. Also, if we could find someone with a passion, although I, the uh, our current setup may prevent the ability for us even to get a passion on intellectual, which is going to be tough. So who... Who is going to be our researcher? Might be red. Our construction is not looking great, but we'll do the best that we can. Let's, let's go with this team. Anybody want to get uh, named into the crew? We can always change it on the fly as we go. Let you see Raven. 
So body modders, they're going to be a little unhappy, but they have a burning passion in construction, plants and animals, and artistic. Seems like a good... Seems like a good setup to me. We've had we've had pretty bad luck on uh, <laughs> on getting good rolls. One to be named Buffalo. Do you have a do you have a preference? Also, I Mega, you still hanging around? Gubia, aka Buffalo. Gonna have you doing a lot of a fair amount of cooking, I think. Oh, and you are you are the daughter of Raven. Congratulations. Alright, let's uh let's get on into this. I'm not saying it's gonna go well. <laughs> I'm not saying it's going to go well. Now we have a river, if I recall correctly, that should be running kind of diagonal through the space. Not an ice sheet, Imega. Uh, we did a very cold run on our last one. The gods were very angry. The blood machines came at night. They swept through your village, cutting and burning your people with their blades and devil fire. Only a few of you escaped. Now, after a harrowing journey with no friends to turn to, you must build a new home in the wilderness like your ancestors did. Here we are. All right, I, I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. Let's, uh, let's see. So... I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of planning here. 